Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video. In this video, I will talk about the different ways in which the corrosion inhibitor performance is measured. This is part 1. The typical quantities which are used to quantify the behavior of corrosion inhibitors are measured using the Koopen tests. The names of these quantities are corrosion rate, surface coverage and inhibitor efficiency. These are related to how well the molecules of the corrosion inhibitor go and settle on the substrate as shown in the figure in this slide. These quantities are usually calculated by performing the Koopen tests in stationary electrolytes which means that the coupons are inserted inside the electrolytes and the corrosion rates are measured depending on the weight loss that happens over a certain period of time in laboratories during the development of corrosion inhibitors along with these coupon tests a few electrochemical tests are also performed these tests include the polarization tests such as the tafel plots as well as the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy as shown on the right side of the slide in the figure shown in the polarization tests it can be seen that the blue plot is for the solution without inhibitor and it has a much greater corrosion current density as compared to the red plot which is the tafel plot for the sample in an electrolyte with inhibitor similarly in the eis plots for the bode plot of impedance versus frequency we see that the overall impedance of the in sample in a solution with inhibitor is much greater than the overall impedance of the sample in an electrolyte without any inhibitor in the nyquist plot we see two semicircles these semicircles indicate that there is a film of inhibitor on top of the metal substrate in the solution with inhibitor the semicircle stands for the film of the inhibitor on top of the substrate in the in the plot for a sample in a solution without inhibitor that is the blue plot the semicircle indicates that there may be a formation of a double layer next to the substrate and it, the semicircle is related more to this charge transfer resistance and the double layer capacitance it also can be seen that for the sample with inhibitor has a greater radius of the semicircle as compared to the sample without inhibitor such an electrochemical polarization testing may not always be done when inhibitors are qualified for use in the industrial environment the typical tests for industrial qualification usually include bubble test rotating cage autoclave jet impingement and high temperature high pressure tests these four are coupon tests where the corrosion rates are measured but the rates are measured in presence of a fluid flow and a shear stress hence the coupon tests or the corrosion rates that are obtained in these take into account the fluid flow that happens in the internal regions of the pipeline or such equipment on the other hand the polarization test may be carried out only in case of the rotating cylinder electrode where we have the typical three electrode system and the electrode that is the working electrode rotates so that there is an efficient coverage of inhibitor all over its surface and the change in the corrosion rate or cor corrosion current density with respect to the motion is also measured now as can be seen here these tests are not always carried out when the inhibitors are being developed hence there is a gap between the tests that are used in industry and those that are used in laboratories hence the need of the hour is to bring together these two tests and 
complement them with a literature review so that we get a good evidence for the chemistry of the inhibitors as well as for their behavior in both the industrial tests and laboratory tests while the laboratory tests will tell us exactly how and when the inhibitor will degrade the industrial tests will help us to simulate the conditions that are present in the field if we are able to combine the conditions in these two tests we would be able to get a more realistic picture of how the corrosion will happen or how the corrosion inhibitor will actually work in the industry hence the intersection point is the most important part that should be focused upon by both the communities there is a fourth component which is still not used quite often and that is of the computer simulation i will talk more about the computer simulation in the part 2 of this video please check out my channel for more like comment share and subscribe see you next time